I think it's a bit ridiculous to only allow married couples to use frozen eggs because it's, it's more of an issue of a basic woman's right to use their frozen eggs. It's my decision whether or not I want to bring you know, a child into the world. I don't see why another man needs to be there in the picture. I mean, yeah, obviously scientifically, yes, but I don't see why the institution of marriage is required in these cases. We haven't really had the time to discuss it because it's so new to us, you know. And then there's the religious concern also, you know. We don't know whether it's a good thing. I think that it's a very good option, especially for, you know, single women. Because like, there are a lot of women that are around my age that are actually looking to have kids in the future. But it's quite hard to get a boyfriend these days. So maybe they might want to have the option of just freezing their eggs to save it for their future someone. La. I was actually intending to escape to another country where I can do that and freeze my eggs there. Now that the option is there on the home ground, I think it just makes it easier and maybe slightly less expensive than having to move to a completely new country altogether. I feel like the power and autonomy for women to plan her family timeline, career timeline, I think it will potentially result in an increase in the uptake of this. So I think the age limit of 35 years old, right, is it's still in every woman's life. Before 35, you need to have a kid, and not there's a double the risk of Down syndrome and whatnot. But I personally know a few families myself that start after 35. And if the woman really wants to have a family after 35, she should be given that option as well. Scientifically, I understand your egg quality starts to decrease beyond the age of 35. So if that is the rationale behind um, putting an age limit there, then I am completely in for it. Some women may have eggs that are still of good quality beyond that age, so I think they should also have like, you know, exceptions should be made for those cases as well. I think the requirement uh, that only married couples can do, use frozen eggs is a little bit backward. In Singapore, that means a heterosexual couple and the assumption that a single parent cannot bring up a kid by herself. So that's a little bit uh, male centric. Personally, I think that um, if I were in a gay couple, I might be a little against that just because um, there are many loving gay f families out there in the rest of the world. Why should they be denied the, the right to do so? Why must you let that legally binding paper stop you from freezing your eggs? As a very conventional person, I still hold the view that a child is best to be raised in a family setting, a father and a mother. See, if a woman chose to not get married but to have a kid, so what is the purpose of that? I mean, if she, all she wants is a kid, go and adopt somebody. Of course, you can adopt and all that, but then to have your own children is another thing. I mean, if I cannot have children, sure, I would give it a try, of course, why not? Yeah, I have five daughters. I mean, only one is married, the rest are in the, is still studying. Maybe they're married later and they want to freeze their egg when they are still healthy. I, I would support it, really. Even though I've always felt that I do not want kids at all, maybe my mindset will change as well. If I want to start a family in the future, I still have that option. Now that I have the option to freeze my eggs and I can decide when I want to bring new life into the world, it's going to make us want to plan it out like, you know, much earlier so that you know we are prepared say, financially, mentally for, for the whole child thing.